I just flew me first, and then it's meant blessing. Then, good. Then you drive this hip like this. तो हमारा जो ये UFC जिम है, basically ये प्लेटफॉर्म ऐसा बना हुआ है जहाँ पे आप हर टाइप की ट्रेनिंग कर सकते हो। not only strength training, but in one floor you can do combat sports like BJJ, MMA, Moon Thai classes Right? Boxing Plus cardio section too, where you get a variety of cardio There is also a terrace where you can do outdoor functional training There is also a studio room There is also a room in the studio room There are also spinning classes and there are also many classes like Zumba, Yoga so on a monthly basis, we do around 100 classes, 100 sessions, such as group classes. Today, there is something new here. Two fighters have come here. Yes, two fighters have come here from Thailand. They have come here from Thailand. And they are teaching the Muay Thai. So this is a very good session for all the members who have come here. Now, especially, we have kept a women's club for a special Muay Thai class for the children. ब्रांड है आइपोराइजिक ये है रिकवरी के लिए वर्कआउट के बाद इसको हम यूज़ कर सकते हैं बस ध्यान रखना है कि इसको बोन पे यूज़ नहीं करें तो हम इसको मसल्स पे यूज़ कर सकते हैं जैसे कि मैंने आज चेस्ट मारा तो मैं इसको चेस्ट पे आफ्टर वर्कआउट यूज़ कर रहा हूँ इससे 40 परसेंट रिकवरी हो जाती है तो बहुत अच्छी चीज़ है Look center. Yes, sir. Look center. You said this year is a very special year for us, both in Thailand and India. It's 75 years of diplomatic relations between Thailand and India. So we are at the consulate generals. We think about doing something to commemorate this one and we choose uh, Muay Thai at one of the activities that both of us can enjoy. Then I have to thank UFC teams for allowing us to use his excellent facilities and allow us to have a very good time together. Thank you very much. Thank you sir. So, you would like to say something, Mr. Christian? Yes. You no, know, I want to thank uh, the Honorable Council for hosting this. I want to thank uh, both master instructors for coming. It's a lot of fun. UFC, thank you so much for hosting. Um, United States uh, welcomes and, and seconds the, the uh, Thai cultural expansion and, and display. It's wonderful. Personally, I've been doing this for a very long time myself, so I have a vested interest. And uh, it's wonderful we could do this and, and display it here in India. And UFC is a perfect place to do it, so thank you so much. I will try and not speak very really good. Okay, uh, I need to say thank you, uh, Thai Country, for making uh, this project. And thank you for uh, UFC gym, uh, for the press, uh, for everything. Uh, uh, we try to, to, uh, to teach to tell everybody we have Muay Thai uh -huh. and then we try to uh, sorry <laughs> uh,
tell everybody how to do Muay Thai. Mm -hmm. How to use Muay Thai. And then for uh, uh, no Muay Thai and no Thailand. Sorry, I don't sing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a characteristic. Okay, thank you for Thai Consulate and UFC Yim. <laughs> um, I am funny. I come to India first time. I come. Uh, I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's very good for you, right? I understand. Thank for the the course. And I had one student from Thailand. He's he starts me and said, "Ah, oh, you play with my coach. So nice." <laughs> and I need to say thank for you for teaching India. And the J question, I, I learned a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to thank the Honorable Council General for Thailand and Deputy Council General really for hosting this event here. Uh, we are delighted and happy to be part of this 75 years old uh, friendship, partnership between India and Thailand. And we are glad we had these coaches here because it's very rare to get authentic coaches from the country of origin to come and train here. And they bring with them years of experience in their trade. And we did, in the last three days, we did a lot of classes with our members and outsiders and that was an experience that we gave which was very hard to get in India. Also like to thank Christian for hosting a session here with us. Um, we would love to have you back again with our <laughs> members. But I believe it's too short a time considering the kind of uh, knowledge that you have. Uh, I'm going to leave a last note uh, for all of you. Uh, UFC gym is the only gym in the world which has all the forms of training under one roof. So we have a traditional gym which is your typical weight training, cardio, uh, Zumba, Salsa. We have functional training gym like a CrossFit gym and we also have an MMA gym which offers Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Muay Thai. And we cater to an age group starting from a 5 year to a 50 year. I mean it's not restricted to above but that's the only club that offers that. So I would like you to take this message out with people and let them come and experience what we offer because it's one of its kind gym and we bring talent from all over the world in this place. So come and take benefit of this place, come and experience the place. Uh, you will see a whole lot of difference in your fitness strategy when you come and train with your strategy. Thank you. Uh, first we have to go back, back uh, and start from the beginnings that the government policies of Thailand and India is quite Considered is similar. We and in Thailand we are promoting the Muay Thai, and in India we they promote the I use. That's mean we are in, have something in common. That's mean we try to be in stamina, and you will develop a skill that is beyond anything you thought your body could do. Uh, as you saw in the video, um, Muay Thai is uh, derived from warrior arts that were meant for battle. And it's changed into a uh, combative sport that is, is based on respect and uh, based on mutual skills. So I think spiritually, physically, emotionally, it's, it's good for you. By challenging yourself, pushing yourself beyond your limits, you'll be capable of so much more. All right, one more question. Good answer. One more question. So it is been trying to promote a lot of self-defense with karate and taekwondo. Uh, like you think? So I will say that Muay Thai combined with good grappling like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the future of self defense. In the United States we we are almost fanatical about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Thai boxing and Muay Thai and it's everywhere now. Um, when I started 35 <laughs> <laughs> 37 years ago, 38 years ago. Um, it was, no one knew what it was. And now it is very, very common, and uh, in the United States we compete all over the world. And so, um, it is the future. Um, it also is easy to do. You don't need a lot of equipment. And here in India, I believe that uh, it could take off easily. Um, anyone can learn, in school, in, uh, you know, in, a, in a courtyard, and it doesn't matter, you don't. It's wonderful having a beautiful gym like this, but uh, in Thailand, uh, they train in the most Spartan environments and in, in the villages and the schools. They don't need a lot to do it. So yes, defense-wise, 
Absolutely, every man, woman, and child, regardless of age. So there are two ways to look at it. As somebody who wants to indulge in fitness or somebody who wants to become an athlete. So since we are in a gym and we get into members, I will take that subject first. So as a member, when I come in, I am here to train. I am here to enjoy, I am to do an activity. So most of the classes are designed around Muay Thai or kickboxing or boxing conditioning. It's not about sparring and punching. So you're teaching them the technique and you're also doing a workout. So you're doing a full body functional training, you're doing a cardio, and you have a nice group workout of 60 minutes. But if you want to become an athlete, an athlete usually comes from different backgrounds. Maybe a wushu background, a karate background, taekwondo, or, or BJJ. But today, if you want to be a world-class athlete, you want to be compete in UFC gym or any other body, you have to know Muay Thai, you have to know BJJ. But BJJ is the sport today to look forward to because that is the fastest evolving sports in the world. A lot of countries around the globe have made it mandatory as part of the school curriculum to teach BJJ. If you look at the Middle East, most of the schools have BJJ curriculum. India, we are probably 20 years behind as far as BJJ is concerned. Uh, we have only know two known black belts in the entire population of 1.35 billion. So there are only two athletes who are black belts. So if you have to teach BJJ as a technique program, you need to be a black belt to award a certificate. That's the reason why we have to bring Paulo down all the way from Brazil, who's black belt and three, to start the program. So we officially launched the BJJ program here at UFC Gym Bandra last week. And now slowly we're going to take it out across country. So if you want to learn BJJ, this is a place from an authentic coach which comes with a legacy of its own. So again, as I said, the outlook would be from a customer or from an athlete perspective. Which one? Uh, golf. Golf. Golf, yeah. So, like the tennis, cricket, you know, uh, it is usually said that, you know, if you have money, then you can play it because it takes a lot of expenses to play that sport. So, uh, in Muay Thai, so what is the, you know, can a common man, you know, can he take uh, take up Muay Thai as a sport or as a fitness option? Like, what are the expenses? Yeah. See, if you look at any uh, martial art, Martial art learning is not expensive, Taekwondo, Karate, because it doesn't involve a large infrastructure the way the academies are run in India. It doesn't require a lot of equipment as Christian said. It's more of dedication and what age you start. So each sport has its own timeline where you reach. So it's affordable. Martial arts is affordable. But when you compete at an international level, then you need specialized coaches. We have a lot of talent in India. So if you look at the history of UFC, which is the largest uh, uh, body which hosts MMA fights, you've got only one gentleman who made it, which is Bharat Kandare from Nasik. Comes from a very humble background. Made his way through a local league and then he went for the fight. But with our kind of size of population, we still don't have our athletes representing India in you no know, global platform of fight. So when you reach that stage, that's where you need, uh, you know, people who have experience and know those techniques. So, starts as a starting point, it's affordable, you go to a point. Then, either you come to a UFC gym where we have international coaches. A lot of people even go to Phuket to train. A lot of people go to America to train before their fights. But what we are trying to do here is, we are trying to bring those coaches down here to India so that you spend one-tenth or maybe less the money and get the same kind of training what you would get in Phuket or in Bali or, or in America. So that's what we are trying to do. Gym is not a typical gym. It's not about coming and lifting weights. I would like to request all of you who are seeing this video, please come along with the entire family. Come with your wife, come with your sister, brother and kids. And we have programming for all of you. This is the only place where the company family can come and work out. And we have different programs for each age group. So if I, if I have to come in with my wife, she loves Zumba. If she would do a Zumba class, I would probably do a weight training or a kickboxing class. My kids love to be in the cage with the coach to you know, work around and do their functional training. 
this experience nobody offers in the country and if you want to learn authentic MMA or any martial art this is a place where we have talented coaches coming all over the world as you've seen we have here and we will continue this tradition of bringing coaches down and imparting education uh, you know to, to the athletes which are there and in the last three days majority of the people who came and took uh, the classes here they were all from the background of sports they were not your regular members so for them it's very expensive to go back and train for three days with these coaches renowned coaches in Thailand so we're bringing them here and making sure those uh, pro athletes who want to get into sports get an exposure to uh, Muay Thai or different forms of sports which are there. Thank you. So basically, uh, the interaction was very good. Uh, Chris, sir, he was very interactive and he taught lesson by lesson. Or uh, we got to know about new technique. Actually, I never heard of, uh, I never did uh, new Thai before. And thanks to Nini, I met her in the star party. You know, the, the star party from Baba Siddiqui, sir, uncle. He, yeah. he hosted me. I met her there. And she invited me to be a part of this uh, beautiful event. And uh, I get to know and learn new techniques, the self defense. It was more. He was teaching us the way of defensive rather than being uh, offensive and this is what I learned and uh, this was this was a great thing to know that our technique should not be to hurt someone, it was more of to defend ourselves and uh, it was uh, hosted at UFC gym and they were, they were very kind and uh, their hospitality was very good and enjoyed here every bit. Mayu Thai training first time in India, what do you want to say? UFC gym provide karta hai. जी जी तो मेयो थाई ट्रेनिंग के बारे में इंडिया में लोगों को ज़्यादा पता नहीं है एंड आई विश कि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा इसके बारे में लोगों लोग जाने बिकॉज़ ये एक डिफेंसिव ट्रेनिंग है यहाँ पे आप सामने वाले को हर्ट करने से ज़्यादा खुद के बचाव के लिए ट्रेनिंग की जाती है सो ऑल क्रेडिट्स टू यू जिम क्या उन्होंने इसको इंट्रोड्यूस कराया एंड स्पेशली नीमी एंड ऑल दीपल इन इन्वॉल्व इन दिस क्रिस सर एंड दी अदर गाय वॉज ट्रेनिंग मी आई फॉर वॉट इज नेम एंड ही वॉज वेरी सपोर्टिव एंड प्रोफेशनल एट दिस वॉर्ड ओके फिल्म फिल्म के बारे में जी हाँ मेरी वो भी आ रही है एक विलन रिटर्न आप जल्द देखेंगे वो 8 जुलाई को 8 जुलाई को रिलीज होगी इसके अलावा मेरे तीन वेब सीरीज भी हैं अमेजोन प्राइम के लिए हर्ष हर्ष और डिजनी प्लस हॉट स्टार के लिए हैंड ऑफ गॉड और मेरे एड्स वगैरह भी आपने देखे हो अभी हाल फिलहाल में एक एड आ रही है सलमान खान के साथ जिसमें वो आते हैं फ्यूचर से आया हूँ तो उसमें मैं ही उनके साथ जो दूसरा सलमान खान बना हुआ तो क्या नाम है आपका मेरा नाम है अमिर शाह ई एम आई आर अमिर शाह और आप सबका बहुत बहुत थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू